What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel, Spirit Jeff. I just want to get with the truth. Um, I got a messy, so um, I was looking up. I'm keep, I keep seeing 10, 10, everywhere, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So, um, you know, when I looked it up, I'm just looking up 10, 10 angel numbers. So, for whatever reason, the twin flame meaning popped up. So, we're going to talk about that. So, we also just talk about what, you know, all the all the many things that 10, 10 can, um, stand for, right? So, we have twin flame. So, it says, um, you are um, rapidly accelerating your soul's evolution. And the person you are doing this with is not only is is not only a passionate connection, but also a symbol of the universe and what's bigger than us. This is bigger than us. It's not just about the twin flame journey. This is so much bigger than us. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of people fail to realize that that's why people, you know, be so against the twin flame union. They want to keep y'all apart, do magic on y'all. Like, literally keep y'all apart because y'all apart are very powerful. And together, y'all will be a force to reckon with, okay? So, that's what I'm getting with that. So, um, you yeah, say you are rapidly accelerating um, a soul's evolution. Okay, so, and then we have 1010. Um, let me see. Let's look up. Okay, let's see. Hold on, y'all. Just be patient with me. We're gonna get it done. Um, it says the general meaning of ten ten is about moving towards your higher purpose in life. Trust the universe and what it has in store for you. Things happen for a reason. And I talk about this to y'all all the time. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? It's, not, it's neither here, it's neither, neither there. Y'all know I do not believe in coincidence. So, when I say everything happened for a reason, it literally happened for a reason. Um, it says, um, what did it say? Uh, trust in the universe and what it has in store for you. Things happen for a reason. And and in the big picture, your higher self knows the best path to get you to where you need to be. Okay? Have faith that everything is happening for your benefit. And most of all, remember that everything will work out for, for you in the end. Um, so when you see 1010, the first meaning could be everything is working out for your highest good. So be patient and trust the universe. You see what I'm saying? Um, the second meaning is um, talking about you are awakening to your spiritual self. You know what I'm saying? Your purpose. What is my purpose? Why am I here? What am I here to do? Am I here to expose people? Am I here to expose the government? Am I here to whatever the fuck? If it's exposing the government with sex trafficking because that's what's going on. Um, whatever's going on. If you, if that's what you, if you know something, you have a gift. What? Don't let it go to waste is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? No, despite how scared you are or whatever. Because, like, me giving misses a day to day, y'all don't know what the hell I had to go through. Y'all know what Jesus went through, right? So, you can only imagine, shit, what the rest of us go through. You know, it's crazy out here, y'all. But, you know, how, how would you know if you don't know? Or if you don't take the time to put in the work to know what your purpose is and what, what you're here for. You see what I'm saying? Um... It says, as you as you spiritually grow on your journey, you are in the process of awakening to your true self. Okay, and remember, and remember, the divine creator is in you and all around you. Ten ten spiritual meaning in this case is that you are ready to walk a new footpath that will lead you to achieving higher states of consciousness as you begin to explore the the special role in the universe. Okay. Um, okay, and so the third meaning, um, you are ready to take action. If you see in 1010 a lot, you are ready to take action. Um, um, 1010 is to align you with the divine energy of the co-creator so that you can receive inspiration as the seed of your creation. When you are open to receiving divine energy, the seeds of good ideas will keep coming. You see what I'm saying? You get it, you get it, you get it. So, yeah, so, um, I like that. So it's saying the significance of 1010 is to stay focused on the things that your soul desires to experience in this lifetime. Okay? 
And the fourth meaning is you are fully supported. So y'all, I just want you to know that if you are seeing 1010, you know, as your journey further on your path, <coughs> you start to remember the reason why you are seeing 1010. And I'm going to pattern repeatedly. Uh, it's a reminder that you have a spiritual team working with you, okay? Not against you, working with you. You are truly never alone. So it's it's a understanding that you are co-creating co your own reality. And I told the giddy, y'all, I've been like this whole spiritual journey. I've been on it for a couple of years now. It's it's not easy. So like I be telling y'all all the time, be careful what you ask for and make sure this is what you want because it's not easy. Either said than done. It's not it's never it's not easy. And it, you're always being tested and constantly being tested. I, I can't look. I'm be I be I'm being tested regularly. Five 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 on the clock. So I'm like, it's like a never ending story. You know what I'm saying? You're always going to be tested. Um, yeah. And then I was looking at something, um, y'all. It was saying something about, um, it said, Angel number 1010 is a simple reminder to trust God in all circumstances and have peace in your soul. Do not turn your back on Him now. God has many plans for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Okay, that might be significant. Someone may want to look it up. So yeah, um, and I just thought I could because I've been seeing um ten ten quite often, like quite often. And um, like financial wise, you know, ten ten is saying that money is coming your way. It will not come in a spectacular way or with physical proof by any standard. You may feel it's in your uh, mind and spirit when you least expect it. So remain positive and be patient with your life. This is not a time to give up, okay? So, yeah, if you, if like you've been down and out and you've been money's not been coming your way, if you've been saying 10, 10 a lot as far as like in this sector, if it's like a financial thing for you, you know, a money issue, it said money is coming your way, okay? So it said the best times are coming and you should expect good things from love, from from whatever sector, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a love sector, if you've been calling in for your calling in your soulmate, saying your prayers and your affirmations of, and such like that. Or if it's been like money for you, financial problems, and you know, you've been saying, you know, whatever resonates, whatever floats your boat is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helped. Cause y'all, I see numbers all day long, like all day. Long. If it ain't nine eleven, it's seven seventeen or seven eighteen or one 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 ten 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 twenty twenty zero 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 zero. Like all zeros is like for real. It's real. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna pull for cards. Men, I just sit here looking me in my face. Oh, now I'm going to use my new cards that my lovely subscriber got for me. They so little, y'all, and they so pretty. Uh, oh. They so little and so pretty. Look at them. They so little. Y'all see? He's so pretty. Okay. Let me see. What is the message? Okay, yeah. I'm going to turn y'all this way. This way. Just gonna get a message out here, whether it's pertaining to what I just said or not. I just feel like doing a little, uh, giving a little message because I'm, I ain't doing anything anyways. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Yeah, there's too many cards, y'all. I ain't taking all these cards. Let's do it one time. The Wheel of Fortune. Mm, destiny. What are, we, what, what are we talking about? Purpose. Standing in your purpose. Okay? Shining your light. Okay, so can I get one card, please? This, I got a, uh, they so sleek, y'all. The car so sleek. Okay, sure. What's the next? What's the next for the collector? Thank you. I got two cards. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So look at it. When you look at that, it's a lot of money. Mm. We have the Eight of Cups. Let's see, what is this? The world card. Something. Look, I'm saying ten, ten. Something. Okay, something's over. Something's over. I feel like somebody's gonna like if somebody um the ten of swords. Yeah, something's over with the world card. The ten of swords. I'm definitely getting something's over here, and the eight of swords. But it was actually reversed. It was reversed. So mm, something's here. Something's over. No more sleepless nights. No more anxiety about money. Okay about money if it was money if money ever was an issue i feel like it's not gonna be anymore you know what i'm saying for somebody i feel like first somebody had to somebody okay so the eight of cups um somebody here could have addictions here you know what i'm saying but i'm getting like somebody turned their back on like you had to let a lot of things go you know what i'm saying Somebody, like, emotionally, you have let a lot of things go. That's why you're not in this Eight of Swords energy no more. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you had to let a lot of things go. You got your back turned to the world, if you ask me, with the world card here. And then, I just feel like you got your back turned to the world. Like, somebody finna go fulfill their destiny is what I'm getting. Somebody, like, you, you, you left everything behind. You sacrificed a lot. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like something's over. So, we got a 10 and we, look, come on, man. We got a world card. To me, the world card, is, the world card is a 10 to me. It's an end and then something's over, right? So, you finna get a new beginning. And then we got the 10 of swords. So, it's like a 10-10 to me. You know what I'm saying? This what I, what I said, 10-10. Yeah, on your, the six of cups, it's like you, you turn your back on, um, it could be you turn your back on a Leader Gemini Aquarius, or I'm just getting like, or I'm getting like the past, like you, you turn your back on the past, like your, your past no longer exists. You know what I'm saying? New beginnings, because look, I see a butterfly fly here. For most of y'all, you may have a cat. I'm, I'm seeing a tomcat, you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing snakes in the grass. There was a lot of snakes in the grass. But yeah, you see that butterfly signifies change. Five, five, five energy. Mm. It's like you turn your back on everything and it's like now you're in your purpose. And that's where that ten of pentacles come from. You see that? It's like the treasure. You found a hidden treasure. All you had to do was find yourself. I don't know who this for. But it's like you found yourself. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a love reading next because I, I I never you know I never um I never really do love readings. So we got the three of pentacles. So like you working on something, um, you invested all your time into something because like you walked away, like you literally walked away from everything, everybody, and then you're literally standing in your purpose. Um, and whatever you're working on. The Tempest card, yeah, bringing balance to the little card. I feel like everything is balancing out. Everything is balancing itself out. Yeah, justice. Hmm. I don't know, whatever you're working on or whatever you do for work, 
I'm hearing justice. You bring justice to um to people. Okay, social justice warrior. Um, that's the type of vibe I'm getting. You bring justice to people. You could be dealing with the Libra. Or somebody's gonna bring a Libra down or something like that. It's a Libra here, it's significant. A toxic Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. Or uh, 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 um, Cancer. Yeah, because like with the tempers and justice, it's like you bring, I'm even getting like you bring justice to the, um, balance to the justice system. Whoever you are, you're bringing balance to the justice system. Okay? I don't know who I'm talking to. Random. Okay, I could be talking to anybody. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, we got justice just hit the flow, and we got truth coming out, can't be hidden anymore. Okay, so I don't know, I'm getting like, um, and then look, we got West transfer on the top of the deck, so I'm definitely getting like. It, it's over all the all them broke days is about to be over here and breakthrough to the pentacles breakthrough i'm really getting a breakthrough here uh with the world card yeah complete cycles you know what i'm saying and so yeah we got justice here we got the truth is coming out oh my god we got rags to riches and we have overnight success all these cards hit the flow then we got a light worker, so you are indeed a light worker who is in the public eye or will be your celebrity status or you will be, okay? So whatever this is that you're doing, you're going to be in the public's eye, whatever you're doing, or you're already there, okay? Um, yeah, blessed in multiple, so I'm getting like you're going to literally be blessed in multiple ways, ways that you can't imagine. And that's going to bring balance. Yeah, and I'm, I'm definitely getting, like, somebody bringing the government down. Okay, so uh, Pump Lane Pier, you're bringing the government down. You're bringing your justice, the justice system down. Yeah, somebody needs to make room. I'm getting people need to make room for you. Okay? Mm. Yeah, celebration. It's a celebration. Look, it's a celebration. Celebrate. Good times, come on. Look, with the wheel of fort, look, po positive karma is coming back around. Positive karma is coming around. Yes, look, yes, this is really happening. Yeah, this is really happening, okay? This shit is happening. Whoever you are, is I feel like you're exposing things, exposing the government or something like that. Hmm. After look. Somebody's purpose is to bring celebrities down, like, um, you know, crooked, you know, celebrities just doing black magic and think that this shit, they're going to always get by. Yeah, they get by, but they get, they get, they, they get by, but they don't get away. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like this, your purpose is to bring celebrities down or your purpose is to bring the Illuminati down or your purpose is to, um, bring the justice system down to corrupt. You know what I'm saying? The government down. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. Whatever you working on, it, it, it's going to be... You know what I'm saying? It's going to put you there. You know what I'm saying? Public eye status. Look, make room. I just say make room again. You know, again, people need to make room for whoever you are. Because you can't be denied and... Whatever somebody took with the, the seven of swords in reverse, you're going to get it back. Double for your trouble. I'm hearing double for your trouble. Ooh. Dang.
Oh, shoot, y'all. Yeah, my charge keep coming out. Okay, let's see. Okay, what is this? Let's clarify these three cards and then I'm going to call it a wrap. But we have temperance. Spirit, can you clarify temperance for me? Yeah, I know I hardly ever clarify. I just don't. Just don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to start trying to clarify that. Okay, so we have um, the Six of Coins. So it says, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Um, it says, borrowing wisely or paying off debts. Sharing your wealth, okay? Whoever you are, somebody's in a wheelchair too. Also, you know what I'm saying? You could be in a wheelchair, but whoever you are, you are um, waiting on... Um, Waiting on some, some, there's an unexpected inflow of abundance coming, and it's gonna, with the temperance card, it's gonna balance things out for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm hearing much needed. Then look, we have the sun card on the bottom of the deck. It says, a time of great joy and success. Um, success that leads to magical opportunities, plan that work out, per plans work out perfectly. Right here, you, you're uh, literally working on something, okay? Whoever you are, you could work in the justice system or, or, or you work for the government, you know what I'm saying? And you, you're um, exposing things. With the sun call, you're definitely exposing something. Uh, yeah. So, let's see. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so we have um the another ten. This is the ten of the ten of coins, okay? So it says financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in your life, honoring family traditions. Um it's speaking about family tree. For some of you all you may be pregnant. Somebody may find out that they're pregnant. Also it's talking about inheritance or retirement, okay? I feel like, and if most of you all, if that's what you're waiting on, um, justice is going to be served. So, so with the Seven of Swords reversed, because y'all know we seen the seven of, swords, seven of Swords reversed in this deck, right? You could be a feminine energy because I literally just spit the deck, okay? But um, justice, okay? You could be a Libra or not. Um, or a Libra could have been the one that Seven of Swords your ass, you know what I'm saying? Or not. But, Yeah. Inheritance or retirement. This is that's what you're waiting on. That's gonna bring justice and balance to you and your family. Okay. And like I said, if you're if you woke to work for y'all, I can't talk for shit. Retrograde. If you look, I can't make it up. The wheel, the wheel of fortune. I can't make it up. What goes around comes around. This is a fresh new start. The end of delays. No more delays. Okay. Somebody's working on your behalf too. Um, some type of unexpected progress. This is a positive change. Five 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 energy is also talking about traveling or a new vehicle here. Okay, so I'm definitely getting like um yeah, I'm tired of being no I'm definitely getting uh yeah it's a uh oh it's a great sentence that we're here with time. Let go of your past. So whatever happened in your past, it's time to let it go and it's time to move forward because you're getting a new beginning. So why dwell on the past when the wheel is spinning in your favor on your behalf? You see what I'm saying? So, it's time to move forward. Whatever you, you know, got to do to release the past, it's a personal growth that comes from challenges. So, you've been through many obstacles trying to heal and misunderstandings. Um, it's a healing from misunderstandings, being there for those who need you. So, in the midst of you going through what you, just like me, in the midst of me going through what I'm going through, I still have a path to follow. I still have a purpose. In the midst of helping everybody else, I still have to help myself. You know what I'm saying? I still have to be there for those who are in need. Um, but like I said, it's great saying is that we're here with time. Whatever you're going through, we're here with time. Just like I can sit up and talk about when I was drugged, you know what I'm saying? And I can laugh about it. Back then, it wasn't funny when I was being drugged. But it's funny. Now I can talk about it. I live through that. You know what I'm saying? I got a testimony. I live through that. I live to fight another day. But I will let go. I let go of the pay. I got. I'm over it. You know what I'm saying. I'm over it. And sometimes I talk about it to get y'all to see that. Hey, I've been through it. Hey, you can get through it too. You know what I'm saying. And it, that was just the many things I've been through. That ain't the icing on the cake. So that's what I'm saying. So see what I'm saying. I'm making see what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, then, yeah. With it, you know, everything's going to work out in your favor is what I'm thinking again. Okay, so the Seven of Swords reversed, so you're going to get it back. So, maybe you you dealing with a Virgo or you just been in hermit mode, you know what I'm saying? Just sitting, waiting patiently, you know, getting your meditation on, doing whatever you have to do. It says, shine your light. It says, shine your light and as, a, as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. That's what I did. So I feel like I'm kind of talking to myself because through all the madness and sadness that I went through, I still healed and I still shine my light and I still had to be an example to others and, you know, be a spiritual mentor to those who need me, you know, to those who've been through what I've been through and you feel like there's no way out, but there is a way out. You see what I'm saying? There is indeed a way out. Okay. Okay, so we have... Um, so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity that's coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life, okay? Look, I'm telling you, look, did I say celebrate good time? Come on, it's time to celebrate, y'all. It's a celebration. Then on the bottom of the deck, your overall energy, falling in love. You know what I'm saying? Romantic relationship. <laughs> look, the end of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on the people you love. I feel like somebody could give you, a, um, you know, send you a gift or something, exchange gifts or something with you, or you're exchanging gifts with someone. Take it how it resonates. Or somebody could be just sending you something, sending you a gift. Okay? Check your mail. Check your mailbox. Okay? So, I hope this helped you all. Um, I hope it resonated with somebody. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. And make sure you make good choices. Bye.